Hey there folks, this is Richard of Hello, This is the Doomed Show, which you can check out right here on the Legion Podcast YouTube channel. I'm here to talk about three movies by Osgood Perkins, a.k.a. Oz Perkins. First up is a little film called The Black Coat's Daughter. Um, fun fact about this film, I had a chance to see it in theaters, but because it had zero, um, what's it called, advertising, I did not go see it, and I've lived to regret it. Uh, this stars uh, good old Emma Roberts, and this stars uh, Kiernan Shipka, and also stars Lucy Boynton. This came out in 2015, uh, but this film is a possession movie, but it's a backwards weird possession movie. It is very strange, very unusual, and I know that everyone loves it. But this isn't the first film by Osgood Perkins I actually saw. Um, the first one I saw was... I Am the Pretty Thing That Lives in the House, with the long title, movie, hashtag, go see it, you can't, because it's Netflix. This is a Blu-ray. Uh, that's funny. I don't know how I have a Blu-ray of this, since Netflix never put out a Blu-ray of it. Let's just say, I have one, and if you want one, you'll have to search the internet. This came out in uh, 2016, but I didn't see it until 2017 because, again, great marketing, great advertising. But this was my favorite film of 2017. This beat out all the other new watches of mine that year, which was over 20. So if you think about it, this movie is at least 20 times good. This stars Ruth Wilson, uh, who plays a caregiver to a retired horror writer, um, played by Paula Prentice. And this is one of those super, super quiet films. It's, it's a ghost story, and it's just lovely. People who have watched it say that nothing happens in it, but I think that plot and story is overrated. Don't you? But yeah, this is one of my favorite films of the last decade. I just watch this whenever I need that big dose of quiet horror, which is a very underrated sub-genre. So after I loved I Am the Pretty Thing That Lives in the House, and I went back and picked up Black Coat's Daughter, and I also loved that one, I decided to get excited and check out Gretel and Hansel, which was Osgood Perkins' new one that was going to actually be in theaters. In fact, I think this is one of the last films I saw twice in theaters, by the way, um, before the stupid pandemic started. This is starring Sophia Lillis and Alice Krieg, and... Um, Jessica Degu or Degau, I'm not sure how to pronounce that. This is a lovely fairy tale, of course, Gretel and Hansel, so it's the Hansel and Gretel story that you've seen maybe once before. This is gorgeous, over the top, very, very lush, weird, weird stuff. This is a very unusual film. Um, I adore it, and I think if you like atmospheric stuff and you like weird movies, then give this weird movie a chance. So you got your themes of, of loneliness that you want, you got your themes of like grief that you want, and you got your themes of child eating that you want. That's it. I hope you like this video. Be sure to subscribe to the good old Legion Podcast YouTube channel or go to legionpodcasts.com if for some reason uh, you enjoy what I've brought to this channel and you want to see or read about or ingest more of me, then go to this website, doomedmoviethon.com. I promise I won't have any more, um, what do you call them, websites on this video. So thank you, bye.